Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. I want to do a real quick hot topic because everybody has been talking about this and I just want to give my two cents because that's what I do. Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love. Do you all think Lonnie Love got Tamar fired from the real? And I know we're all like, why are we still talking about this? Tamar has been gone from the real so long, a long time ago, and Tamar has been quiet. Tamar is in La La Land in love with her boyfriend. She ain't bothering nobody. She ain't ranting on social media. Why are we talking about Tamar? Well, let's get into it. <clears throat> the other week, now let's go back to the beginning. When Tamar first got fired from the real, she blamed Lonnie. She said, I know Lonnie asked them, got me fired. I know she was talking shit and all that. So back in that day, we all know how Tamar is. I said, Tamar, you don't need no help getting fired from the real because just because her antics, they're entertaining, but we only need to see it once a week, like on the Braxtons. When you got to look at Tamar every day on the real acting like that, it could be overbearing. It could be way on team too much. So I never believed that Tamar needed any help getting fired from the real. Now, mind you, I've never really been a real watcher. I watch the clips when they it's something good, a good topic pops up, I go look at the clip or whatever. So fast forward. <clears throat> this lady named Cookie, <laughs> it's something with these cookie chicks <laughs> this past few weeks. But anyway, this lady named Cookie, who is a writer for Lonnie Love has come out saying, you know, I'm fired and I want to release all the tea. Lonnie was writing letters to the producers or to the network trying to get Tamar fired. And I was there right with her and I heard all the conversations. So I know it was Lonnie who got Tamar fired from the real. So I was like, hmm. Now, one thing I know for sure, <clears throat> when you have a close friend, and the friendship breaks up because it has happened to me. They will take your secrets. If it's a trash friend, a trash ex friend, they will take your tea and go spill it to people to try to hurt you. So when I first heard Cookie doing this, I said, it's probably a 50 50 because People were like, well, why are you telling it now? They're telling it now because they're no longer friends and they're trying to hurt that person. That's what some trash people do. So it can't happen. But it was like, why now when no one is even thinking about Tamar? So do you just want to be seen in the media? Like, I don't know. And so then Lonnie got on TV and felt like she had to address it in code she never said cookie's name she just like it was some people leeching off of me and now that they can't leech off of me they want to start spreading lies about me and she turned into monique like you can't bring a good bitch down <sighs> whatever <laughs> so i'm like okay lonnie you did not have to address this but i guess you felt the need to <clears throat> when you start talking you get other people to talk in and you just keep the story going where if you would have said nothing, it would have just died out. And Tamar isn't talking, so why do you care? So <clears throat> I'm like, okay, I still don't know. But what let me know in my spirit that Lonnie Love did get Tamar fired is when they had their thousand episode. And she want to toast to Tamar. Tamar, this is your thousand episode too. Shout out to you. I said, no, ma'am. Are you all giving Tamar some thousand episode royalties? Are y'all cutting her a check, a percentage for every episode that you all film since she's been fired? If the coins don't match the thousand episodes, then it's not her thousand episode too. And Tamar probably gives two cares less about y'all thousand episode. Why are you bothering this woman? You know, she loves to drag and talk and go overboard with her theatrics on Instagram, Twitter, and all of that. Why are you poking at her? It's like you want her to come out of hiding and get at you. 
And I said, only hit dogs hollers. Dog, like my dog sitting over there on the couch. <clears throat> Ain't nobody bothering him. He's quiet. He don't care what I'm talking about in this room in here. He's on the couch unbothered. But if I was to punch him or step on his tail, or push him out the way, then he gonna start barking. Only hit dogs, holler. And your guilty conscience is hollering, Lonnie. You need, people need to learn, especially in this day, if they aren't saying anything that's trashing your reputation to a point where it could cause legal issues, like if they ain't putting you in the Me Too movement, if they ain't saying you stole money out of somebody's bank account. Like, if no one's trashing you to a point where it's a complete detriment to your career, shut the fuck up. Because <laughs> everyday celebrities are doing something to be in the hot topics. No one would have remembered this cookie lady if you would... <laughs> the cookie lady. <laughs> Get it together, Angie. No one would have remembered Miss Cookie if you would have shut up. So I believe it. The um, cookies beautician that came out of hiding talking about, I was there when Lonnie was talking trash too. So now she, Cookie got a co-signer because you talking. And the more you keep talking, the more people who no longer want to fool with you are going to keep talking. And pretty soon somebody going to produce a receipt. So I believe it. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. You think, what do you think? Some people believed it all along, but let me know. And you know what else to do? Go ahead and join Kiss My Cheeks. I got, you know, little quick hot topics I'm going to release today and some other stuff I'm going to release today. Go ahead and become a part of the Kiss My Cheeks family and do what else you know I like. Like, comment, share. Y'all have a good one. Bye.